everyone, this is Intuitive Edge. Welcome to my channel. This is where we take an intuitive look at what's going on in our world. I'd like to take a look at our week ahead as we move into the coming up on the last week of July already. Now, I want to do a little something a little different. I want to shake it up a little. I have a different deck that I've not used before. Um, I'm going to be doing a little different on the week ahead. We're going to focus on themes. What are the themes that we're going to see this coming week? And I'm going to use my Osho Zen Tarot deck. So Osho Zen Tarot. Now this one is kind of like an Oracle deck, although it is built off the tarot. The tarot is different than Oracle decks. They're similar, but not exactly the same. Oracle decks can have lots of different variations. They don't follow necessarily the theme of the tarot with the, the major arcana, the minor arcana, and that kind of thing. They can, but anyway, they're a little different. And this, this Osho Zen Tarot is a little bit, it follows the tarot, so it is technically a tarot deck, but it's a little different. It's got some neat themes to it, um, and he just kind of has a little different, uh, different take on some of the meanings of of how he interprets some of the cards. So um, I want to try this deck for this week ahead. We're going to be looking at, again, different themes this week. Um, what our focus is, what our response is, hidden agendas, things that are around the corner, what we need to let go of or release this week, and what makes us strong, what gives us strength this week, and then our outcome. So I'm going to shuffle up these cards and lay these out, and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm actually really excited about this because I haven't pulled this deck out in like forever, and I've never done a video with this deck. So I'm excited about this. Um, now this deck, I'm going to read the booklet that came along with it um, just because this is a little more like an oracle deck that gives a lot of insight in their booklet. So... All right, so, so for the first is like, what is our dominant theme this week and our focus? What's gonna be in the news? Kind of gaining our attention. And the first card out was this card called Innocence. Now, interesting that that's a theme this week. Um, the first thing that came to my mind was something like somebody either trying to prove their innocence, somebody being innocent, um, wanting to prove it, innocent till proven guilty, maybe somebody having to fight for that burden of proof that they're innocent. So let's see what the, what the booklet says. So the booklet, um, I'll read a couple sentences out of this booklet. It says, the innocence of children is beautiful, but ignorant. It will be replaced by mistrust and doubt as the child grows and learns that the world can be a dangerous and threatening place. But the innocence of a life lived fully has a quality of wisdom and acceptance of the ever-changing wonder of life. This says here that as you drop what I would say preconceived ideas and notions, um, and your identity and holding on to like identity politics and holding on to ideas that are that we just assume are entrenched releasing those things if you drop all that's been given to you by others you will have a totally different quality to your being innocence this is a type of crucifixion of the persona the personality there will be a resurrection of your innocence and you will become a child again, reborn. What I'm gathering from this for this week is that there's a lot of attachments to people's ideas about others. We get a lot of preconceived ideas and notions. Um, when we hear something in the news, we form an opinion in our mind and then we see the world through that filter and sometimes those filters are reinforced by what we hear in the news that kind of reinforces our worldview. But those worldviews might not be correct. Um, and as it relates to someone else, um, if, if 
the world, say, has a preconceived idea about, say, Donald Trump. I'll just throw his name out there because he's the president. But if they have a preconceived idea of what he is um, that is not accurate, but yet it's reinforced, um, those are the things that, as you, if you're able to release your preconceived ideas, that the world can open up. And I think that we may be seeing that, and I just use the president as, as a example, but for me, I think the focus this week is on our perceptions of what we see and how it relates to people, other people, um, and them maybe wanting to portray their innocence. That's a theme this week is innocence. And I think what gets in the way is the preconceived ideas of others that form opinions about people um, that may or may not be accurate. Okay, moving on. Okay, one thing I should mention too with this week ahead is it can apply to an individual as well as to the greater collective. I do my weekly readings for the United States, but it could apply to you personally in your own personal life. So do take that into account if it if it seems to fit. Okay. The next is the response. Okay. That response to that those preconceived ideas. Now this I found was interesting. This card is called the miser. Oh, sorry for the glare. Okay. There we go. The miser. Miserly old lady. All right. So let's read what it says here in the book. This woman has created a fortress around herself and she is clinging to all the possessions she thinks are her treasures. In fact, she has accumulated so much stuff with which to adorn herself, including feathers and furs of living creatures, that she has made herself ugly in the effort. This card challenges us to look at what we are clinging to what we feel we possess that is so valuable, it needs to be protected by a fortress. Now think of a fortress, you're building things, walls around yourself, self-protection, okay? It needn't be a big bank balance or a box full of jewels. It could be something simple as sharing our time with a friend or taking the risk of expressing love to another. Like a well that is sealed up and becomes stagnant from disuse, our treasures become tarnished and worthless if we refuse to share them. Whatever you're holding on to, remember that you can't take it with you. Loosen your grip and feel the freedom and expansiveness that sharing can bring. It goes on, the moment you become miserly, you are closed to the basic phenomenon of life. That is expansion and sharing. And the moment you start clinging to things, you have Miss the target you have missed because things are not the target. Your innermost being is the target. Not a beautiful house, but a beautiful you. Not a lot of money, but a rich you. Not lots of things, but an open being available to millions of things. Interesting that that would come on the response to this preconceived ideas and notions. Perhaps we have those about ourself as well this week. Okay. Okay, the next card is interesting. This is on the question of, the position of, the hidden agendas. Now, this is a messenger card in this deck. Fighting. Now, interesting, this card. It says the figure in this card is completely covered in armor. Only the glare of his rage is visible and the whites of his knuckles on his clenched fists. If you look closely at the armor, you can see it's covered with buttons, ready to detonate if anybody so much as brushes up against them. In the background, we see the shadowy movie that plays in this man's mind, two figures fighting for a castle. An explosive temper or smoldering rage often masks a deep feeling of pain. We think that if we frighten people away, we can avoid being hurt. In fact, just the opposite is true. By covering our wounds with armor, we are preventing them from being healed. 
By lashing out at others, we keep ourselves from getting the love and nourishment that we need. Pretty interesting with all that's been going on in our world with the fighting. It says here, one moment it was there, another moment it's gone. One moment we're here, another moment, and we're gone. And for this simple moment, how much fuss we make, how much violence, ambition, struggle, conflict, anger, hatred. Just for this small moment, just waiting for the train in a waiting room on a station and creating so much fuss, so much fighting, hurting each other, trying to possess, trying to be the boss, trying to dominate. All that politics. And then the train comes and you're gone forever. Interesting, interesting way to think about what we see. And this is under the hidden agendas, that fighting, that fighting, that fighting. So what is around the corner? The rebel. Whew, look at those chains below, being broken. The powerful and authoritative figure in this card is clearly the master of his own destiny. On his shoulder is an emblem of the sun and the torch he holds in his right hand symbolizes the light of his own hard won truth. Whether he is wealthy or poor, the rebel is really an emperor because he has broken the chains of society's repressive conditioning and opinions. He has formed himself by embracing all the colors of the rainbow, emerging from the dark and formless roots of his unconscious past and growing wings to fly. His very way of being is rebellious, not because he is fighting against anybody, or anything, but because he has discovered his own true nature and is determined to live in accordance with it. The eagle is his spirit animal, a messenger between earth and sky. The rebel challenges us to be courageous enough to take responsibility for who we are and to live our truth. interesting that you have the fighting on the one hand and the other rebel who is also a fighter but he's fighting with himself being placed at the seat of truth he's already conquered himself this fighting over here whoops that glare this fighting is somebody who is fighting against himself and lashing out at everyone else, lashing out at others, lashing out at society. This rebel already has his truth settled within him. And now all he has to do is take a stand and stand up for what's right. I see a lot of hope in this because this to me says that while we may see this type of fighting, sorry to clear, this type of fighting as the hidden agenda and what's trying to be stirred up behind the scenes, that this is around the corner. This is the kind of fighting that, like I said, has already won the battle. It's already conquered the self. And it's merely standing for what is right. Huge difference between the two. And if that is what's waiting around the corner, that tells me that there's hope in this struggle that we're seeing in society right now with some of the breakdown that we're seeing. So what do we need to let go of this week? What are we releasing this week? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Stress! Now, I love this picture. If you can see this uh, 
person trying to do 15 things at once and this rat or whatever that is down there is ready to pop the bubble that this person's walking on. Total chaotic, stressful situation. How many people do you know who, just when they were completely overloaded with too many projects, too many balls in the air, have suddenly come down with the flu or taken a fall or ended up on crutches? That's just the sort of bad timing the little monkey, oh, it was a monkey, sorry. The little monkey with the pin in his hand is about to impose on the one-man band pictured here. The quality of stress represented by this card visits all of us at times. We created ourselves with the idea that without us, nothing will happen, especially in the way that we want it to. Well, what makes you think you're so special? <laughs> I'm reading from the book here, okay? Do you think the sun won't rise in the morning unless you personally set the alarm? Go for a walk, buy some flowers, fix yourself a spaghetti dinner. Anything unimportant will do. Just put yourself out of that monkey's reach. It goes on. All private goals, goals, all private goals are neurotic. The essential man comes to know, to feel, that I am not separate from the whole. There is no need to seek and search for any destiny on my own. Things are happening, the world is moving, and call it God. He is doing things. They are happening of their own, own accord. There is no need for me to make any struggle, any effort. There is no need for me to fight. I can relax and let be. The essential man is not a doer. The accidental man is a doer. The accidental man is, of course, then, in anxiety, tension, stress, anxious, continuously sitting on a volcano, and it can erupt at any moment because he lives in a world of uncertainty and believes as if it is certain. This creates tension in his being. He knows deep down that nothing is certain. Interesting. So again, that letting go of things you can't control and resting that the battle's already been won. Okay. So what gives us strength this week? What helps us be strong and stand strong like that rebel. The creator. The Zen master in this card has harnessed the energy of fire and is able to use it for creation rather than destruction. He invites us to recognize and participate with him in the understanding that belongs to those who have mastered the fires of passion without repressing them or allowing them to get destructive or out of balance. He is so integrated that there is no longer any difference between who he is inside and who he is in the world outside. He offers his gift of understanding and integration to all of those who come to him, the gift of creative light that comes from the center of his being. The King of Fire tells us that anything we undertake now with the understanding that comes from maturity will bring enrichment to our own lives and to the lives of others. Using whatever skills you have, whatever you have learned from your own life experience, this is the time to express yourself. The creator. There are two types of creators in the world. One type of creator works with objects, a poet, a painter. They work with objects. They create things. The other type of creator is the mystic. He creates himself. He doesn't work with objects. He works with the subject. He works on himself, his own being. And he is the real creator, the real poet, because he makes himself into a masterpiece. You are carrying a masterpiece hidden within you, but you are standing in the way. Just move aside, then the masterpiece will be revealed. 
Everyone is a masterpiece because God never gives birth to anything less than that. Everyone carries that masterpiece hidden for many lives, not knowing who they are, just trying on the surface to become someone. Drop the idea of becoming someone because you already are a masterpiece. You cannot be improved. You only have to come to it, to know it, to realize it. God has created himself in you. You cannot be improved. So I don't know about you, but this feels to me like this week is challenging us to grow through our emotions, our fears, our feelings, our angst, and to let a lot of that go in light of knowing the battle's been won and in creating a better, brighter vision of ourselves and our future and focusing on that and allowing the stress to melt away and to choose the rebel over the fighter. We have one more card. This one is the outcome for the week. We have the flowering, flowering. The queen of rainbows is like a fantastic plant that has reached the apex of its flowering and its color. She is very alive and full of possibility. She snaps her fingers to the music of love and her necklace is placed in a way that Venus lies over her heart. You might feel like a garden of flowers right now, showered with blessings from everywhere. Spread your joy around for all to share. The seeds of her garment contain an abundance of seeds. As the wind blows, the seeds will be scattered to take root where they may. She's not concerned whether they land on the soil or on the rocks. She just spreads them everywhere in sheer celebration of life and love. In harmony with her own self. Zen wants you living in abundance in totality, intensely, not at the minimum, but at the maximum, overflowing. Your life should reach to others. Your blissfulness, your benediction, your ecstasy should not be contained within you like a seed. It should open like a flower and spread its fragrance to all, not only to friends, but strangers too. This is real compassion. This is real love, sharing your enlightenment, sharing your dance of the beyond. And that is the goal. If we can move past the pain and the self-protective armor that we wear and release that fighting to become more authentic, more real, more open, to where we can begin to give back to others in that flowering. Underneath this is consciousness. I'll read this one too. He represents the consciousness that is available to all who become a master of the mind and can use it as the servant it is meant to be. When you choose this card, it means that there is a crystal clarity available right now detached, rooted in deep stillness that lies at the core of your being. There is no desire to understand from the perspective of the mind. The understanding you have now is in harmony with the pulse of life. It is a gift to be shared. We come from the unknown and we go moving on into the unknown. This card of consciousness is movement from the unknown to the known and from the known to the unknown. And this continues for eternity. This flower that has become aware of itself, he has learned the lesson. He is now beyond illusion. He will move from the known for the first time into the unknown 
and then into the unknowable. So it's getting past all of these hang-ups that we work through on planet Earth, on Earth school, as some call it. And the, with the ultimate goal being to become a more authentic human that is in tune and in touch with the creator, with the world around us, so that we are living integrated with the earth, with natural law, and not working against it and against ourselves and against the constructs, but it's learning to work within the creation. I hope you've enjoyed this. A little different for a week ahead. But I invite you to take these truths with you this week and to see what areas you might need to release the stress, release the struggle, become more authentic, come from a place of winning, not a place of fighting. So thank you, everybody. We'll catch you next time. This has been Intuitive Edge.